Carson CPA, D. Carson CPA Net and GRL Stem. This is a macro, micro, and uh, distribution model here. D. Carson CPA, D. Carson CPA Net, GRL Stem, D. Carson CPA, and the Sara lines. It's a macro model. Sara is a service applied research and outreach. Um, the D. Carson CPA dot net is a micro distribution model, and the GRL um, model to the EPC lines is another method of distribution connecting lines to add value-added services. Air Flights over here is economics, risk, financial, legal, technology, and social research. Tributary lines of financial, legal, technology, and teamwork into a macro frame of analysis. Across the way, we're working with physics, waves, optics, technology, and the end-to-end -end lines that run communications to help an entity succeed in context to entity policy and community needs and back in a recycling uh, cycle of continual improvements. On the macro lines, it's economic research, analyst research, financial, legal, tech, data science, comms, actuarial apprentice, and agility to think across many lines to the perspective of industry, nonprofit, government, and community lines on needs in an aggregate model of what's needed to do to help in the economy in different perspectives. When you begin to think about different perspectives in the economy, you're, of course, thinking about micro entities which roll up in our subset the uh, economy itself, and that each sub entity has a vector which is growth, risk, and logistics and the opportunity to work with STEM of technology and analysis to its lines out to the economy, which are EPC lines. So there's a lot of uh, repeating and, and cross-dependent lines within here. However, this is a quick frame in this current evolution of the model, thinking across air flights and how it feeds into financial, legal, tech, and teamwork goes into the macro model. Policy-level decision-making happens here. This is the point where we can help in local, regional, state, multi-state, national, international teamwork into the EPC lines going through uh, to the micro lines as an entity within its sector or a product within its market within its sector, its subsets of items. Plugging into GRL stem and distribution lines to the economy for services for the reason that continually we've got three directions we can spend. The directions are growth, risk and logistics, the opportunity is to work with stem. STEM is a continual line of connection on physics, waves, and optics, which carries across the lines communications from point to point. So the model relies on functional and resilient technology. Um, functional and resilient technology is something that we all take for granted, but it's something that also is suspect to risk. So parallel to this, there should be offline points of repository information, which currently exist, but are not um, enough at this point in terms of we need to all work together for resilient lines to think about what happens when a communication chain breaks down? How does that hurt? Not only on um, <clears throat> shared lines or the things you'd immediately think of, but on the functional lines, what happens to people if they lose access to information and the knowledge and more and more people are moving away from trades that are passed down and handed on trade to trade, but they're passed down through the internet. So if we lose that connectivity, it's a huge risk to resilience. In any event, this is a model line. This is our model for services. We're basically working through this because we're leading up to some of the work we're going to do on economist uh, and analyst lines to help on macro level challenges, but it's to know that we have agility across a macro and micro out to the economy model where the economy is EPC lines, entity policy and community needs, inherent net or shareholder and stakeholder needs is a simplified line of beneficial owners and end line stakeholders who are citizen stakeholders, communities, individuals and families, and, and the, the line of their wants and needs which flow into policy which through policy flow into entities and governance, which through entities and governance return to the cycle, and that's the sort of continual feedback loop uh, over this all, where it feeds back into the system, and there's a loop of entity policy and community lines. Enough said for now. This is D. Carson CPA and Lines. We're here working with a model here to help on services on many levels of macro and micro agility out to the economy and the different subsectors of needs, as well as the macro and micro lines and the contextual lines of financial, legal, tech, and teamwork. Thanks very much.